Hi, Claudia. Thanks for inviting me to this interview and thanks for you all coming. Appreciate all that. We highly respect our relationship with Minico. So we uh, really want to make sure that we partner and do things together uh, with your media brand. I um, want to tell everyone uh, that joined us to thank them for the tour that Madison Curtis took us on. We are truly U.S. made. Our plants again are here in Arizona, Texas, Indiana, and Georgia. Internationally speaking, we're in Mexico and the United Kingdom. To abbreviate R3, Restore, Rebuild, and Replace, essentially it's a, a service of components and products and people that service the older facilities in the industry. Data supports, as we speak, about 30,000 facilities nationwide or 20 years and older. So basically what that spells is dysfunction, not very safe and not very secure sites. Uh, old doors are a big problem out there. They're hurting people. The owners and operators are leaving money on the table. And we can go on and on and we'll go into your questions right now and hopefully I'll be able to answer some of those more specifically. It's very important. Uh, technology is driving the industry right now with cloud-based door locks, software that is better than, than I thought it ever would be and, and changing and evolving uh, as we speak. ADA is the American Disabilities Act. That's an entity that's not going to be here, they're here. So they're here to enforce these doors that are old and hurting folks. And uh, there are lawsuits pending right now that are, a lot of them settled out of court on a weekly basis on doors and, and old products that are hurting people. Typically it's the older demographic that are the renters and the tenants, but they're hurting people as we speak. No one wants anybody getting hurt on their site. When a door's really hard to pull down or a door's really tough to push up, that's gonna hurt someone. And with 30,000 plus facilities nationwide and growing daily, getting older, there's a huge market and it's growing to replace your doors. I need to be frank about what's going on, Claudia, in the industry and just tell it like it is. Uh, we've got a lot of lazy owners and operators that are, again, taking their businesses for granted and it's putting people in harm's way. So uh, folks are gonna get hurt in bigger numbers and, and to more of an extreme. And until there's a class action suit, and it's gonna happen, uh, no one's really gonna wake up on these, these doors hurting people. So that's what we wanna really be in front of is the safety of the uh, industry with new doors that are work the way they're supposed to work. And, and another thing, the liability on someone getting hurt is on the owners. Typically the safety hazards we've witnessed are on the doors, right? It's the moving product. So typically it's a door that an elderly lady or a, or a young man or woman who has some medical issues can't open the door. So they're using parts of their body they shouldn't have to use to open the door. They're using different types of fixtures and things to manipulate the door. Uh, doors that have come down on people on their shoulders and their heads, those are very heavy doors. And when these springs let loose, they can really hurt you. These are a lot of the issues. With some of these products that aren't uh, very functional, you have sharp edges. So folks will reach in to grab something and because a bearing is worn out or, or some of the, the guides are, are compromised, they're real sharp and they cut people. So there's a lot of things, but typically it's a door that is too hard to pull up and or pull down that causes the safety issue. So we wanna be in front of that and lead with safe products and make sure that your tenants, your managers, and everyone involved in the site are gonna be safe. I do, I believe that the, you know, the millennials, I think in some regards get a bad rap and in some regards it's proper to say that for some reason they, they would rather have a device do a lot of their transactions. So if they could pay for a unit, if they can get in and out of the unit, if they can basically manage their unit through a cell phone or device, they would rather do that. But what's interesting is that a lot of the older demographic, a lot of baby boomers uh, are looking at this technology uh, the same way. If it offers convenience and they're able to load a very simple app on their phone and pay by phone, uh, pass on their gate codes, uh, or excuse me, door codes and gate codes on a phone, that's the way they want to go too. It's surprisingly simple with the technology out there, what we can do.
Well, educating is key. We believe that if we teach folks how to do things better versus telling them or stating how good we are and, and that we're the best, that doesn't translate. If you give folks knowledge on how to make their lives better, safer, more secure, and with these sites more functionality, that goes a longer way than being a pom-pom or a cheerleader about your products and services. So education is key. And me coming out of the media side of the business, I know that. That's what I did for 30 years, is educate folks in the industry how to make their businesses better. Well, we have the best people in the industry. We have the most knowledge and education in the industry. So specifically with R3, whether you're getting a remix, a door replacement, or any of the other key R3 components, you're getting the best you can get on all facets with the service behind it, the product behind it. So our R3 experience from start to finish is to make your, your facility better, make more money, safer, more secure, and more functional. Well, I'm going to back up a little bit. The R3 program was kind of interesting. It started several years ago with Morgan Hodges, who's one of the key components with the company. The REITs were calling, the public storages and the, and the bigger guys and gals were calling about their managers actually getting hurt with doors that were, were coming down on them or they were getting cut or different things like that. So they were actually protecting their managers. It's evolved into, wait a minute, all these doors are getting old. So not only do these doors touch the managers and the staff on the site, but they're also touching, which is really important to tenants. So it's evolved into uh, R3, restore, rebuild, and replace. So that's the, that's the way it was launched. And we, we're evolving with different partnerships on the insurance side, cost segregation side. Uh, so you get discounts commercially and big discounts with tenant insurance. So if you're able to eliminate risk and have a safe door, that's more secure, that's much less likely to be broken into, the tenant folks are all in on that process. The commercial folks as well. Again, creating safer, more functional sites. They're gonna give you discounts because we're passing on less risks to the owners when we install these new products. Yeah, as I discussed a little bit further, the benefits of R3 are growing. We're adding more to the program. The big game changers, again, are the insurance discounts. Nobody likes paying for insurance. It doesn't matter what it is. So if you can get a discount on insurance and increase the functionality and security of your facility, why wouldn't you do that? The genesis of the program as well is to create value. So you replace a door and you add a 5% increase to, your, to the price of that unit and you extrapolate that out with 500 doors or more. And you see the short time it takes to pay off the door replacement, the insurance discounts. And then of course the cost segregation is huge. So you get discounts for doors because they're considered equipment. So our partners in the business will cost segregate your typically hallway systems, depends on the scope of the job, and doors. And in some regards, even older security systems. So essentially you have an opportunity to write those products off as you're throwing them away. So that's another aspect and benefit of R3, restore, rebuild, and replace. Again, the genesis here is to add value, in increase rates. So if you're getting more monthly for your units, your value is gonna go up, your cap rate's gonna go down, so everything's going the right way. And then in the middle of it, you've created a safer environment for your tenants and your folks that are working on your site. That has been going on for quite a few years, but it hasn't really been promoted. So now we've got the cost segregation guys out of California that have said, hey, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create this small little application. The scope of the job, what we're doing, uh, has a lot to do with what kind of cost seg you can get, as well as the age of the buildings. But these are amazing benefits for R3. Great question, Claudia. This is before you get into the job. So you get to find out early on what your cost seg discounts are going to be. 
So we get this done for you with this short application. We send it to them and they send us back, hey, here's where we're at approximately on the cost seg side. We take and, and make sure the commercial insurance carrier is aware of what we're going to be doing. What is that discount going to be? What will the discount be for the tenant insurance? Tenant insurance, it really scales because if we're creating a safer environment, an environment that less likely we've broken into with a more functional door, they're all in. And then add to that a door that typically will be sealed better for any water damage. The two things that really kill the tenant insurance bottom lines are theft and water. So if we are able to control some of that, they're like, hey, this makes all the sense to us in the world. We want to partner with the R3 program. Back to the certification side, we have platinum, gold, silver, and bronze, depending on what you do. And basically what it is, is if you do a door replacement, and you a complete door replacement, you have the gold program. So the gold program gives you a certificate on the wall. So if tenants walk in and they're a little disgruntled about the, the rental increase, you say, listen, we've become R3 certified. Let me tell you what that means. We've created a much safer environment for you. It's partially marketing and it's, and it's more reality that if we're investing in the site for you to be safer, more secure, and have a more functional experience, then your, your partial increase makes sense. So typically it's a visual to go, okay, you know, instead of just saying, I'm just going to arbitrarily raise your rents, which they can do whenever they want. Uh, this is a, a more tangible value toward raising rents and raising value for your site. Another great question. Typically what happens is we'll get someone who says, hey, come on out and take a look at what we have. Let's assess what our, what our facility needs are. Uh, we send out a field tech first and foremost. Our very experienced field techs will go out and do a lot of measuring, take a look at open space for possible mass units, ways to add value. If we're talking specifically the doors, they'll measure out all the doors. They'll take a look at them and, and gauge the age on the doors. And the beauty of that is we come back to the owner operator with a proposal. Here's what it's going to cost to replace the doors and install the doors. But there might be some other things you want to look at here. You might want to look at Noki. You might want to look at MASH units, brand new drive up units because you've got some extra parking space or you have some, some areas that need to be filled that you can make more revenue, right? So these are the things our field tech will do, as well as our sales folks. We'll go out and we'll put together a plan for you. And then we give you the plan and say, hey, how do we execute it? What do we need to do? You need financing. You know, you want to phase it in. It's typically better to get it all done at once. The door replacement program is something that is one of a kind where we have a, a security guard in front of that unit with a camera on from the time the door goes up until the time the new door is replaced. So nothing in between is good. The big gold nuggets that people like to steal out of these units that everybody has, right? We're gonna find out who took that gold nugget. No, really, we'll be able to see any type of uh, compromise on that particular unit with a security guard and a camera on it. So it's a very secure experience for the tenant and the owner and for us. Keeps us all out of trouble and it's the right way to do it. Great. Uh, there's a lot of signs. Uh, the one that's probably the scariest to the most concerning is when the other owners and operators are shopping their market. You've been there, let's say, 25 years, and you are the brand for the, for the neighborhood. You are the brand for the market. What you don't know is the REITs are out there looking for that acre and a half to go down two floors and up six floors, and they're going to take your market away. Women are typically 68, 70% of the tenants and you have an old dingy facility uh, that's unsafe, uh, not very functional, and you have things, these things going on, trust me, the REITs are looking at your market. You know, when they were years ago discussing the big major metropolitan self-storage markets, they're looking at the secondary markets and in some regards, third tiered markets like Flagstaff, Arizona, they're going in that small market. So for the independents, what this is, is if you take for granted your business and you think it's always going to be there and you don't have to do anything to keep raising the level of functionality, safety and security, you're wrong. The scary thing is going to be when that competitor puts a sign up in the ground and says ABC self storage coming soon. So that's the big problem with these older sites. So if your doors are old and you're having customers complain, you better wake up real quickly. ADA is not when they are here. 
So they're going to start tagging sites that don't have the particular door pull, that don't have the proper bathroom ADA compliant type products and services. So again, to recap the scary thing for an operator that's sitting on their laurels and money's coming in in big chunks is to take that for granted that someone is not looking at your market saying, look, I'll undercut the rate and I'll build a palace that's well lit very functional, very secure, and very safe, I'll move all your tenants out. So that's what's going on right now with some of these older sites. And, and we will find those old sites, I promise you. We will be around to help you and consult with you and talk about ways to make it better. And it makes complete sense with all these programs we have with Restore, Rebuild, and Replace. These men and women that have these sites and they've had it in their families for 30 years and they've done relatively nothing and they're frankly puking money, they're not making money, they're puking money. And they don't know that big brother, big sister is on these high dollar planes flying into their markets going, wait a minute, we can buy that acre. We don't need four acres. We need an acre and a half because we're going to go multi-story. And we're going to make these things shine on the highways and byways like palaces, like castles. Not this Dover and Pincher run site with barbed wire fence on it. And that's the, the, the far end scale of it. But there are those sites out there that are really uh, unprofessionally, unsafely managed. Don't think that you've got that market forever and don't take your facility for granted and your business for granted and we can help you with all of that. You have to stay market relevant. That's the key. You have to stay market relevant. Make sure you're relevant to your market. If you've not grown with your market, good chance you're going to lose it. And what they'll do is they'll offer three months free because they can absorb that hit. And once you get them moved out, game over. They're not going to move back over. We want as an industry for R3 certified to be a standard in the business. What that does in the hallways of the trade shows, the streets and highways and self-storage byways, is let folks know that you've taken your older facility and you've upgraded it. So if you're R3 certified, a broker will know. Well, they at least had a door replacement. They might have had a Noki. A door uh, security system uh, installed so that that the industry knows an R3 certified site means that it's been R3 restored rebuild and replace in some facet of what we do so that it's not just a 30 year old site that's been you know going for a long time with 30 year old doors and 30 year old components so we want to make R3 certified a staple in the industry and have it be a buzzword men and women that own these facilities haven't raised their rates in a couple years. So they're at 95, 98% occupants and they brag about it. That's not very smart. That's not really, that's not good business. Typically you want to be between 80 and 85% with inventory. So you're at the max market, market value for your uh, per square foot uh, unit rentals. Um, so we're seeing, a, again, back to the laziness of some of the owners and operators that have been living large for a long time and taking a lot of things for granted. So upgrade your facility, create uh, better lighting, create a better security system, create a better management overall experience for the tenants, uh, a safer experience for the tenants. At the same time, you're creating those experiences and making more money. It makes all the sense in the world. It's just that some folks have just gotten into a groove and they've taken things for granted. And, and what do you do with that site when it's empty? I don't know that answer. <laughs> you know, uh, we're finding out that a lot of owners and operators have to bulldoze it. And they go into different type of real estate categories, uh, condos, commercial space. Boy, I wouldn't want to do that if I had a, a site that my family put the blood, sweat, and tears in to build. And I took it for granted and therefore the REITs came in and took my lunch frankly. So that's not where I want to be. The ultimate repercussion is to lose the business, right? That could ultimately happen if you create an environment that's, uh, again, if it's not safe, it's not secure, it's not functional, that's not a very good business model in anything that you're doing, let alone self-storage. You risk that by just letting each day go by with these older products on your site. That we can come in and help you make more money, create value, security, and functionality. It makes all the sense in the world. If anything, let us come by, say hi, and talk about the things we can do to partner with you to make your site better.